Hi, I'm Karin. Welcome to my kitchen. So last week we talked about the ultimate easy and transportable meal. And this week we're keeping in the same vein but going fresh. And like some of our other recipes, it's really adjustable. Tweak it based on what you have. All you really need is a quick cooking green vegetable, fish fillets that aren't too thick, today I'm using black cod, Something in the onion family, white wine, butter, and some kind of herb. The rest is up to you. I have some gnarly looking fennel right now, but we can actually use the green parts as an aromatic and in our sauce. I'll use the bulb in a coleslaw this week. You want a bed of vegetables that cook quickly in about 10 minutes in the oven. Today I'm lining my pan with a bed of asparagus, but you could use something tender like bok choy or mustard greens as well. I'm placing the cod skin side up, but that's a matter of preference. It'll cook faster and it's easier to see if it's done if you do the opposite. Either way, give it a generous salting. I would just avoid a firm, thick fish like tuna for this dish. I have these little feathery guys off and now I'm just going to give them a quick chop and set them aside. I've been on a big olive kick lately. I'm gonna put some on top, but you don't need that. I'm just going to try to keep them from rolling around and chop them up. These ones have been pitted already. I like Castle Vitrano olives because they have kind of a nutty, almost like almondy, toasted almond um, flavor to them. You could also put nuts on top of this dish and that would be lovely. I'm gonna set the almonds aside. If you use a lot of little dishes while you're cooking, it kind of feels like you're on a cooking show. I just need about a quarter cup of finely minced onion. You could also use shallot here, that would be quite lovely. You're probably thinking right now, wait a second, Karin, this is not an easy mindless recipe like you did last week. It actually could be, I'm just putting everything I have in the fridge in this dish. You don't have to. I have some shallot left over from another thing I made this week, so we're gonna dice a little bit up and throw that in there as well. Last thing we're going to cut is these little um, cherry tomatoes. I'm just going to cut them in half and not do anything else to them. You could also use canned tomatoes, probably like the peeled, diced kind. We'll top our fish here with the onion followed by tomato. I meant to add fennel stalks here, but it got distracted and forgot them in the video. But we won't forget the olives. Give it a good dousing of dry white wine so that it's part way up the vegetable. I'm covering this with parchment, but if you really want to speed it up, cover it tightly with foil. Putting it in the oven at 400, and I'll check it after 10 minutes. The time depends on the thickness of the fish, but we're looking for opaque and flaky. When it's done cooking, we'll set the fish aside and strain the juice into a little skillet. So we're just going to reduce it a little bit um, to about half the amount of liquid that's in there right now. Now that this is nicely reduced, I'm turning down the heat, off the heat, and I'm just going to whisk in some cold butter. Once the butter is incorporated into the liquid, we'll just bring it up to a simmer, cut the heat, add the herbs, and taste for seasoning. That is magical. The freshness of the fish and vegetables is elegantly contrasted by this white wine butter sauce. Serve it with some crusty bread or boiled potatoes and perhaps this beautiful wine from New France and you're in business. I'm excited to see what my friend Erin has to say about this Italian white wine. It's going to make you want to use olives in your dish. I'm Karin. Thanks so much for joining me in my kitchen. Have a good start to your week and stay nourished. I am excited. It's really uh, adjustable. And then on top of the fish, you want some aromatics that um, 